holy crap, I just messed up. I just messed up so bad. This tattoo right here is so bad. Like, it's really, really bad. And not only that, but it's on my body. What's up, guys? My name is Whitney, and today I'm coming to you live from my bed. I'm in my bed. I'm in my pajamas. I just got off work. I know that, like, things look kind of crazy right now, but I'm just in the process of, like, decorating and figuring out, like, what my vibe is going to be in my apartment. So I appreciate you guys for being patient with me. Um, but today I wanted to come on and tell you all about my botched tattoo. Obviously, I have a bunch of tattoos. As you can see in my first video, I talked about... Most of my tattoos, I didn't really show you, I think I didn't show you maybe like five or six of them, but for the most part, you get the gist. And I kind of went through and I just explained the ones that I have. Now, saying this, I will say that with all of these tattoos comes at least one tattoo that's your least favorite. Let's just put, let's just, let's just, to put it nicely, I have a tattoo that is my least favorite. Um, and what I'm going to be doing today is basically telling you the story of how I got this tattoo. This video might be a little bit long. If you don't want to stay, you don't have to stay. But if you do decide to stay and you like the story and you like me, give me a thumbs up. Let me know I'm not by myself. It would be greatly appreciated. Um, that's the first thing. And then the second thing, just a quick disclaimer. I am by no means bashing the tattoo artist. I'm by no means t bashing tattoos. I'm by no means doing any of that. I'm just simply telling you the story of my botched tattoo. Without further ado, we're just gonna jump into it and I'm gonna kind of try to get you where I was at the time. All right, here we go. So, flash back about three years. I'm 24 right now and at the time I was 21 and I was working at this restaurant. I'm not gonna say the name of the restaurant, but I was working at this restaurant. Um, and basically, this restaurant does not allow you to have any visible tattoos. It's a restaurant that's very, very, very strict about their dress code policy, how you can look in your uniform, how your makeup has to be. Like, they're very strict about the girls that work there. It's an all-girls restaurant. I don't know if that, I don't know if that helps you kind of understand where I was working, but that's where I was working at the time. Now, one of the rules that they have is that you cannot have visible tattoos unless you can cover them up. So at the time, I had, I think, maybe two tattoos. One of them being a tattoo on my side. This is this, like, to thine own self be true. And I had a tattoo. I have a tattoo on my back shoulder that says, this too shall pass. So this tattoo obviously was covered up with my uniform. The one on my back was not. So that is a tattoo that I had to cover up. And it was just such a pain in the butt because the, the color would get all over my, like, shirt. And it was just, like, it was such a hassle. But I love my tattoos. Um, and they were tattoos that I had gotten, not in a tattoo shop, but like in somebody's like house. It was kind of sketchy, but they still came out okay, right? Okay, so just a little preface. So anyway, so I'm working at this job. I'm making friends. Everything is good. And I remember at the time I had a family member who had a, a tattoo that I really wanted for myself. I felt like her tattoo was really beautiful and I wanted it and it was always stuck in the back of my head. But I knew that I couldn't get it with where I was working. And if I was going to get it, it was going to have to be in an area where you could not see. One night, my girls and I, we decided that we're going to go to this college party. We're going to go as a group to this college party. We're going to go. We're going to have fun. And um, we get there, and we're drinking, and we're playing beer pong. And, you know, everybody's just kind of starting to do their own thing. This guy walks up to me. And somehow, some way, we start talking about tattoos, which is interesting because... He wasn't like heavily tatted. He didn't have any tattoos that I could see um, just like just by looking at him. And I didn't have any tattoos that he could see just by looking at me. So it's interesting that we were talking about this, but yada yada, whatever. We ended up talking about it. He tells me, he proceeds to tell me, hey, I have this guy and he is really, really good at tattoos. And I know that you said that you were thinking about getting this tattoo. And not only is he good at tattoos, but he has a really good price for his tattoos. And his like work is like amazing. Like look at his Instagram. I'm like, I have I've had a couple drinks in my system. So I'm like, oh, of course. Like I'm gonna call him, I'm gonna hit him up, and like I'm just gonna go get it. Not really thinking that I was gonna like go and do this specific thing. I I had no idea. I was just kind of just like talking about a week later uh the guy hit me up on instagram and he told me that his friend had told him that i wanted a tattoo um he asked me what kind of tattoo i wanted and i told him that i wanted a cherry blossom tree 
on my side so that you could not see it and so that I would not get fired from my job. He proceeds to tell me, okay, I'm gonna draw it up and then I'm gonna send you pictures of what I, I've drawn and I'm gonna send you a price and you let me know if you're interested. I'm like, okay, takes him a couple days. He goes, he draws up this picture, sends it to me, sends me the price. They're both, the price is good and from what I could see, the drawing was beautiful. It looked like a cherry blossom tree. I really loved it. If you've never seen a cherry blossom tree, I'm gonna insert the exact same picture that I sent to this guy. Okay, so that's what cherry blossom trees look like. The, the base of them are like pretty thin, you know, they're, like there's like these big pink flowers and they're beautiful, they're very beautiful trees. And the one that I wanted, which is the picture that I just inserted, was, you know, it was dainty, it was cool, it was whatever, it was, it was supposed to be perfect. So anyway, so the day comes that I'm supposed to get my tattoo, I'm with my roommate, I have my girls for safety, and uh, we get to this guy's house Now, like I said, my first two tattoos that I ever got were done somewhere that was kind of shady, if I'm honest. Um, not the worst place, but just somewhere that, you know, just like it wasn't a tattoo shop, you know? And so when I get to this guy's place, I'm like, you know what, whatever. My first tattoos came out fine. I've seen this guy's work. I'm with my girl. Like, if it's terrible, like when he stencils, stencils it on, I won't get it. No big deal. We get inside of his house. And we basically, um, we go downstairs to the basement and he has a tattoo room where he has a bed set up and he has, uh, I don't really want to say too much because I don't want to feel like I'm like snitching on him, but either way he has a tattoo room. So I lay down on the bed, everything's fine. He puts on the stencil. I look in the mirror. I'm like, you know what? It looks good. Let's go for it. We start tattooing and we get about two hours into this when... Um, I just decided that the pain was a little bit too much. If you've ever had a tattoo on your rib, you know that it's like pretty intense and it hurts pretty bad, especially if you're just going at it for as long as you can. It is painful to say the least. So about two hours in, I'm like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a little time. We reschedule and about a week later, I, um, I come back to finish the second half of the tattoo. Now, I had seen the top of the tattoo and I honestly, when I first saw it, I was in love. I was like, you know what, this is so beautiful. Um, you know, so far so good. Uh, I can't wait to go back and finish it. And even if I hadn't liked it, I was still gonna have to finish it anyways, in my brain, right? That's what I'm thinking. So I go back about a week later, once it's kind of healed up a little bit, and we finish off the second half of the tattoo. I pay the guy, I leave, I go on about my business, I go home, I'm feeling myself, I have this beautiful new tattoo. And you know, like I'm just in love with it. I'm on Instagram, I'm, I'm taking pictures, I'm showing off, I'm like, beautiful. Now, the tattoo starts to heal, right? I've had time to kind of sit with this tattoo, to kind of nitpick it a little bit. If you've ever had a tattoo, um, at least for me, like I like my tattoos, but you know, like sometimes you get a tattoo and you're just kind of like, ah, you know, maybe I would change a couple things here or there. To really get a good look at this thing. And I'm like, oh my God, what have I done? I did say that like when I first saw it, I immediately loved it. But I do remember my first thought being, hmm, it doesn't look like the stencil. <laughs> it does not look like the stencil and that's kind of concerning. But I was just really excited to have a new tattoo, like the adrenaline from it, you know, whatever. I'm starting to look at this thing and I'm like, oh my God, it's so bad. Not only is it not a cherry blossom tree, it's like, it's like a cherry blossom tree. It's like a big, this big, thick, you know what? I'm gonna insert the picture. <laughs> Yeah, this tattoo. So basically, it is this huge, giant, thick tree with basically just like pink flowers. And like there's at the bottom of the tattoo, there's just this one random, just doesn't match the rest of the tattoo kind of a flower. And I remember sitting with this thing and I remember being in my room and just kind of like crying because it's like, you know, like tattoos are forever I mean you know it's 2019 now so they're not technically forever but at this time in my head I'm like this is forever and it's on my body and because of like 
where I work, you know, like they used to have girls that would model, but you couldn't model if you had tattoos. So now not only do I have a tattoo, but like it's st it's stopping me from being able to do the things that I want to do. And on top of that, it doesn't look like what I thought I was going to be getting. I'm absolutely devastated. Okay, so I'm at work. This guy comes in. He's a tattoo artist. We're talking about tattoos. He's showing me his work. He had just finished doing artwork on this, the guy that he came in to eat with and it was absolutely beautiful. I'm telling him about my botched tattoo. I'm telling him, you know, like, you know, it's not that it's like the worst tattoo ever, but it's, you know, it could, I, there's just a, there's maybe like one or two or like, you know, 12 things that I would like to change about this tattoo. So he tells me, hey, you know what? I got you. I'm going to cover it up. I'm going to at least fix that flower. I, I've got you. My friend, my tattoo artist, the guy that did this one right here, um, he goes and he basically, um, we start tattooing and he adds basically just color to the tattoo that I already had, that I already really didn't like. And at first the tattoo was just the tree and just the pink flowers. When this guy gets done, not only has he not finished, I mean covered up the flower that's on the base of my hip, but he also has just only like added shading to this. And it's like, ah, I just remember just being so like done. Yeah. Now I will say that some people see this tattoo and they're like, I love that tattoo. I think it's a beautiful tattoo. I really like it. I personally, I haven't, I honestly have not looked at this tattoo since I got the blue shading done because for me, it's just not at all what I thought I was going to be getting. It doesn't look like how a normal cherry blossom tree looks. It's just not at all what I thought I was going to be getting. And so it's just kind of, it's a lot. And um, I know that I talked a little bit about tattoo removal in my last video, but if you don't know, it's a lot easier to remove black ink than it is to remove colored ink. It is very, very, very hard to get colored ink out of the skin. I already know that it, I, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to go through with my tattoo removal quite yet, which is why I stopped the process. But already, if you look right here at my knuckles, I showed you this in the last video. Um, like you can already see like this is only four sessions in a couple more sessions and this is going to be completely gone Guys, okay, so that is my botch tattoo story. I hope that I told that story. Okay, basically long story short And I'm, I'm telling the story just to tell you guys if you are going or if you don't have any tattoos and your plan is to get a tattoo Please, please, please for me. Just make sure you get your tattoo in a tattoo shop All of these tattoos that I have right here are all done within a shop that's like certified. I'm not saying that this guy wasn't a real tattoo artist. Maybe somewhere he has a shop. I'm pretty sure he might've had a shop, but for whatever reason we did it at his place. But um, please, like if you're gonna go get tattoos, like go somewhere that is like, where like that's what they do. That's what they specialize in. Because even though you can get them removed, it's one, very expensive, and two, it is probably the worst pain I have ever been in in my life even though this the removal process goes quick but it's just it's a lot so that is the story of my Bosch tattoo it's so bad it's so bad the flowers the design the tree the one random big pink flower on my hip like it's it's honestly really bad and if I am gonna go through with tattoo removal that will be a tattoo that will have to get up off of my body because it is not, it is, it's just not my favorite. Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am going to go on about my night. I'm going to edit this video and I'll see you guys back here on the next one. Bye.